Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamer's game review of the 1985 classic game, Hogan's Alley, by Nintendo for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Nintendo's Hogan's Alley was released as part of the Light Gun series, and was one of the first games used with the Nintendo Zapper. The controls are very simple. Aim the Nintendo Zapper at your targets and fire away. This is a one player game with three different versions to play, game A, game B, and trick shot. The object of game A is to get the highest score by shooting the one or two gang members out of a lineup of three and avoid shooting the lady, professor, or the police. The number at the top of your screen represents the seconds you have to shoot the gang members. It can vary anywhere from two and a half seconds to six tenths of a second. Your game ends when you miss 10 times by running out of time or shooting the innocent. The object of game B is the exact same as game A, except this time, besides shooting at a lineup, you shoot your way through five different city backgrounds. And they also added moving targets, which make them more difficult to shoot. Your game ends when you miss 10 times, just like game A. The trickshot game is very different from games A and B. The object is to get the highest score by shooting the can safely onto the shelves for points. Your game ends when you allow 10 cans to fall off the bottom of the screen. What I really like about Hogan's Alley is that all the games have fast paced action that really test your hand eye coordination, making this game very challenging to this day. I only have a few complaints about this game. There's very little music and it's nothing special, but it's okay. And the sound effects are awful. They get very annoying really fast. When playing game A, don't aim at the middle target. Always start from either left to right or right to left, shooting them in order, saving you time. When playing game B, concentrate on shooting the moving targets first, since they move faster and are harder to hit. When playing the trick shot game, try to avoid landing the cans on the small shelf, it's only worth 100 points, and try to shoot every can in the 5000 point shelf, by shooting the cans as close as you can from the bottom of the screen. And just to add a fun fact, Hogan's Alley is named after a 1920s FBI training facility that closed down during World War II, and the FBI reopened a new Hogan's Alley in 1987, just two years after this game was released for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So this concludes my video game review of Hogan's Alley. I have to score this game a very good 7 out of 10. It's not quite as good as Duck Hunt, but can definitely hold its own as a good game, and a must-have for any true classic gamer.